Morning. Hello, Mr. Gilberto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your Monday, Mr. Gilberto? Uh, Monday, uh, today is uh, very nice in my work. Uh, in the afternoon, I had to study uh, a little English one moment. Oh, nice. Did you yes. review? Did you review some lessons? Some past lessons? Uh, I review uh, the the participant verb. Ah, excellent. Good. Yes. Very good. Did you have to travel out of San Salvador? Yes, yeah, I work in San Salvador. Ah, you worked in San Salvador today. Okay. Great. Okay, I see Israel is here. Hello, Mr. Israel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your Monday? Mm, how is fine. your Monday going? <laughs> This is uh, not over yet, right? <laughs> yeah. No, fine, fine. Um, I don't know. I'm working as every single day. Uh, it was not nothing. Uh, shows up like uh, like 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 in a normal uh, normal day. Okay. Um, that's all. Normal Monday. It's a normal Monday. Regular Monday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Danny, hello. Good evening. Danny, do you still have problems with your microphone? I guess so. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There is no connection to the microphone. Okay. Lady, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome to our session number 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our fourth week. Well, let's see who else joins us. How was your weekend, lady? Um, fine. Okay, just fine. Mm -hmm. I visited my family. Oh, okay. In Kokoro and Corinto. Ah, okay. And you live in Gotera, no? Jocoitique. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think I'm gonna. Uh, well, I I would like to travel to Morazan in my coming my upcoming vacation, so I hope I can go somewhere there. I don't know. Have you visited Las Pilas waterfall? It's beautiful there. Ah, okay. Yes, I have seen videos. I would like to go there. Okay, let's see. We have Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Are you a listener, Gabriela? Ah, yes, I see. I see. Okay, who else is here? There are a few of you who are listeners. 
Well, in the meantime, uh, I was uh, checking who is done with their midterm. And uh, so far, I'm going to just name the people who are done, okay? If I don't name you, it's because we are still missing the midterm, okay? And remember, it's important that you do it as soon as possible. Okay, I see here in my list, um, let's see, Gilberto finished. Um, Lady, Luis Rodrigo, Maria Leticia, Rebeca Maria, Roberto Carlos, Sofía Karina, and Yesenia. These are the people who have finished the midterm. Okay, so we are missing a few of you. C1, two, three, four. five, six people, around six, mm -hmm. five or six people, let me see. Okay, so let's try to do it as soon as possible so that we are done with that, <coughs> with that task, okay? Um, well, let's check attendance also. Let me see. Well, Danny Anthony, Siguenza Ventura. He is here, but without a without microphone. Okay, let me let me check here in the chat. Okay, just checking with Danny if he is actually here because he doesn't have any sound attached to. Okay, next, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Andres Martinez Perez is a listener today. Um, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, let's see. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Uh, not here yet. <clears throat> Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz is a listener. Um, María Leticia Ralejeño González is also a listener. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I don't know why I don't see you in my list, Mauricio. Ah, yes, now I see you. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Um, Rebeca Maria Cardona Juarez. She's a listener. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. is a listener. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo. I don't see Karina here today. Sofia Karina and Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. She is a listener too. Okay, uh, let me see who, how many of you are participating because sometimes I get confused with that. We have Gilberto, Jose Israel, Lady Mauricio, Roberto. So we have one, one, two, three, four, 
five, only five of you are participating. Okay. Well, let's move on. Okay. Well, last uh, Friday, we had a review session and uh, well, we practice with some vocabulary that we have been learning since we started the module. And also uh, we practiced some grammar structures that we also have checked throughout the module. Um, so that's what we did Friday. Today we are starting a new unit, unit three, which is focused on branding, okay? So as usual, we're going to start the unit by checking the goal, the learning objective, and also some opening questions, okay? Um, so let's, let me share what we are doing. Okay, here we are. So um, let's look at the objective in unit three. I will be able to sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or company. Okay, so uh, as I said, it's focused on branding. And we're going to start with uh, two questions. The first one, why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Okay, since there are five of you participating today, according to my list, uh, I would like that at least three of you can help me answer these questions, okay? So the first question, why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Gilberto, what do you think? Uh, I think, teacher, uh, the important strong brand for a product. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in my case, a uh, very important uh, for the position of the product and the market. Okay. Uh, in the uh, demand. Uh, uh, demand in those products uh, is the the brand and position in the market. Okay, very good. So in order to position the product in the market, that's why it's it's good to have a strong brand. Okay, thank you. Yes. Now I would like to hear somebody else let's see next one in my list is israel what's your answer to this question mr israel hello hello yeah i'm here okay so i'm repeating the question um, yes. we're answering this question why is it important to create a strong brand for a product well, I think a strong brand for a product gives um, that sensation in the public that the product is better than the the competitor competition. Mm -hmm. The competition. The competition. Uh -huh. So, just for example, if you put some bottle of cola, like Coca Cola, Pepsi, Big Cola, and all those brands. Mm -hmm. Which one do you prefer? I mean, you are going to prefer the, the first one that you really uh, feel that um, the brand is, is, is very strong. For example, Coca-Cola. Uh-huh, okay. Instead of get some, get a, a big cola that is the cheaper in the, in the market. And that is the reason I think that the, a strong brand is good for a product. If you have a, a a good position brand on, on the market, 
-hmm. Many people we are they are going to see your product and they are going to get your product. Okay, great. So I think your answer is well, I will say your answer uh, coincides or agrees with Gilberto's answer because he also mentioned that it's important for positioning the product into the market, right? And you provided a specific example with Coca-Cola. Great. Okay, let's see one more person for this question will be Lady. What is your answer, Lady? Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? I think that um, for the ingresos, the income, the income, or the revenue, that's another word, revenue. Revenue. Mm -hmm. um, How come? Can you elaborate more on that answer? Can you explain me a little bit more? Yes, to give jobs for others. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if the brand is strong, eh, that means that more there will be more revenue for the company mm -hmm. and it will provide more jobs to people. Yes. Okay, very good. We have a li this answer is is focused on a different aspect, right? Which is related to um job opportunities for people. Okay, good. We have another question here. This is more personal, okay? It says, do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Mm -hmm. Now, I would like you to answer this, everybody who is participating, answer this question by, okay, if your answer is yes, if you feel identified with the brand that you represent, please give me a heart reaction. Un corazoncito, okay? So let's see who reacts with a heart. If you feel identified with the brand you represent. I see the first heart is from Lady. Okay, very good. Let me see if there is another one. Roberto Carlos, okay, great. We have another another heart. Jose Israel, okay. Gilberto, yes. Well, apparently all of you who are participating today feel um, identified with your brand, right? Very good, very good. Okay, now I have an extra question. What would happen if you were not identified or if you didn't feel identified with your brand, with the brand you represent? What do you think could happen? This is an open question. Anybody can answer. I think if you don't believe in your own brand, you're not going to be... Um, uh, it's not the word ready to propose to another to, to your client uh-huh okay you cannot propose it or you cannot promote it with your clients okay mm -hmm. that's right you have to believe in yourself i think that is a a, a key a idea from your opinion a mr israel a, because if you don't believe in your brand it means you don't believe I mean, if you don't feel identified with your brand, it means you don't believe in it, right? So that will be um, problematic when you are promoting the brand because, well, um, I think, it, well, and, and you can tell me your experiences as well, but in my experience, uh, prospect, 
prospect clients usually try to see all the negative aspects when you are promoting your brand or a product. Uh, prospect clients usually um, try to make, like they usually talk about or bring out the negative aspects, right? Probably if they had a bad experience before or they start comparing it with the competitors, the competition, right? And they tell you the negative aspects. So at that point, if you don't believe in the brand, then you will end up agreeing, <laughs> right? With them. Um, but if you do believe in the brand, then of course you will have arguments to uh, counterface what they are telling you. The negative aspects, for every negative aspect, you can give them a positive aspect, right? If you if you feel identified with the brand. So in conclusion, it is very important or it is crucial. It is a, a vital, it is critical that we feel identified with the brand we represent, right? That's something really important. Okay, very good. So um, we have, okay, since we are talking about branding, I want us to start with this a uh, short video. Just give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing this screen and move to uh, here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to watch this video that is called What is Branding? So um, I would like you to, as we are listening or watching the video, I would like you to please take notes on how branding is defined in the video, okay? What is the definition they have for branding? So I'm going to ask you later to give me the definition of branding according to the video. Okay, so let's get ready to watch. Okay, here we are.
Okay. So there we have a video about branding. Okay. Remember, the question is, what is branding? What is branding? So I'm going to start asking from the bottom to the top. Okay, uh, I don't know if Sophia, are you participating? Okay, I just saw your message, Sofia. Uh, let's see, um, Roberto. What, you, what? How would you define branding after watching the video? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. In my opinion, uh, branding. Um, when I I look the video, I I can. I can I can say branding is um is passion, confidence, security, and and all the concepts about the branding. But it's very important part of a uh, a brand about different product because is when the the people know about the product. Uh, in the video, in the video, I I. I can watch uh, different concepts like uh, a passion is very important. Uh, in other is security, confidence, guarantee. Uh, this is about the video I watch. This is my opinion. Excellent. I see you could catch many of the concepts that were related to branding in the video, right? Passion, confidence, guarantee. Definitely, those were some of the, the ideas we saw. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, let's check with somebody else to see if they can provide any other information. Let's see. How about Mauricio? What can you share with us, Mauricio? What did you learn about branding from the video? Yes, thank you. Uh... Huh? Well, I agree with uh, Roberto. Uh, all the all that he he said is is uh, passion um, and all the things that uh, that make a uh, a branding. That's all. Great. Thank you, uh, Mauricio. Well, does somebody else want to add something they learned from about branding from the video? I don't know. I opened the microphone for either Gilberto, Israel, Lady, whoever. If you want to add something else. No. Okay. Well, I wanted to call your attention in the uh, from the video. There was a, a, a quotation, a quote from um, I think the, the the last name was Ruthman. I don't remember the, the name. Uh, but the quote was about uh, like when when people use your brand as a verb, that's amazing or something like that that's remar remarkable that's the word they use when people use the name of your brand as a verb that is something remarkable i don't know if you remember that phrase from the video but uh you could see some examples like google it when you say for example google it we know that google is a brand right it's not an action per se but Google has become this brand, this, like, it's a synonym of, um, let's say, um, like a library, right? Uh, when you go to a library, you can find uh, information about many topics. So Google 
has become a reference for a, let's say, searching for information for any kind of information. So if you Google something, it means that you will find information about it, right? Uh, what was another example that you remember? about these brands that have become, that people use them as verbs now. I think there was another brand called Uber. Uber. And Uber, I, I, I think, and said, Uber your carpet or something like that, but I don't remember right now. It's, it's well a, a red label. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other example for brands that use that are used now as verbs? Gilberto or Lady, do you have any other example? Do you remember? No remember, teacher. Okay, okay. Well, uh, if you notice or if you uh, remember, many of these examples were related to technology, right? Like Google, Facebook, Photoshop was another one. Photoshop it, right? Even in Spanish, we say, que photoshopiada esa, esa imagen, okay? We have um, tropicalized the word even, even in Spanish um, but we also have previous to this technology um, search we also had other brands that were that were used as 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 verbs for example um, when we say a uh, let me see what's the word um, ah, well, in this case, it's not exactly a verb, but it's actually a noun. But this is something I had already uh, told you before. Like, for example, we say rinso. We call rinso to all the any detergent. No, no importa si es Sedex, no importa si es Surf, or any other brand, right? We call it rinso. Okay, um, well, at least here in El Salvador, I, I, I see that it's very popular. People say, e echar en rinso la ropa. Okay, so rinso is not exactly a, just the brand, it's the detergent, right? Any, we call it, we call rinso to any detergent. So that is also an example of, in this case, a, using the brand for calling a, for naming an everyday action. So what is the what is the message here? Why are these brands uh, used this way? They are used as a synonym of an action, a regular action, right? An everyday action probably. Uh, and this is what Israel and Gilberto said at the beginning, right? That uh, they are so well positioned in the market that, uh, well, what we saw in the video as well, uh, confidence, right? Um, guarantee, okay? That's what they uh, are, are a synonym of, right? So they are so good or so well positioned in the market that people associate this brand with a specific concept, right? A specific action. So if I say Google it, I mean information. If I say Photoshop it, I mean modify the image. So the brand becomes the model or the, the ideal for the action, right? That is the, the point. So they are very well positioned and that's why the quote says that if people use your brand as a verb, that is something remarkable. It's like you have achieved 
the best of the best of the best successes, right? Because of that. Okay, well, so we learned a little bit from branding in the video. And now uh, we have a, a conversation here um, related to branding, of course. So uh, we have two people, Josue and Amy. So I'm going to have a two of you to practice. Okay, since very few of you are participating today, I'm not gonna do breakout rooms. I'm going to have you participate in pairs for the whole class, okay? And we're going to be correcting a pronunciation if necessary. Okay, so we're going to start with Gilberto and Jose Israel. Okay. Okay, so Gilberto, can you please start? Okay, teacher. I would like to create a brand for me environment friendly draper, draper. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them yes ones about the sound just back and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, great. Well, let's see a Mr. Gilberto. Let's practice some words here. Let's practice create. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, and great. then let's see for my this is my my, my and then this one environment environment mm -hmm. environment, environment friendly, friendly 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 and this is diapers 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 mm -hmm. So if you didn't know how to say, because we say the same word in Spanish, right? Si decimos diapers en español, but probably you didn't know that th this is how we spell them, right? In English. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Um, people are calling them the Joshua's, but that sounds... Okay, let's practice this word. Sounds. Sounds. Mm -hmm. Sound, Sounds. Yes. Just. Just. Sound. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I can't come up. Come up. Okay. I, I can't come up. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. Now, um, let's see another pair. We're going to have another pair practice. Lady and Mauricio. Lady and Mauricio. Yes. Lady, can you start, please? Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one souls at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but the sounds is bad. And I can't come, come up with any better idea. You could call them. No brand, no brand has become the trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, excellent. Uh, lady, there are a couple of words that we can practice, okay? Let's start with calling. 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 Mm -hmm. Calling. And let's see the first one, create. Create. Create, perfect. Create. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, great. And we have Roberto as well. Roberto, I will have you. Ah? Okay, I thought that was for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roberto and Gilberto. Can you please repeat, Gilberto? But this time, Roberto is going to start. Okay. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diaper. Mm -hmm. What do you hack? I mean, I see a lot of people I buying from the you rather than getting that one sold at the supermarkets. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sound just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could cut them. No brand, no brand. Have, have become a trend for some products in Japan, in Korea. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, well, let's see. Uh, let's practice this phrase. What do you have in mind? What, what do you, do have, you in have in mind? mind? What do you have in mind? And also, I want you to think of the the synonym for this phrase. What is a synonym? What do you have in mind? What do you think? Exactly. Uh -huh. What do you think? Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Another one. In this case, the last one. You could call them. You could. You could. You could call them. You could call them. Mm -hmm. you could call, you them. call them. Very good. Okay, I was going to check another phrase here. That is. Okay, this one. I can't come up with any better idea. Come I up. Come with... up. Come up I with any better. Come, come up with. This is something mm -hmm. we call phrase adverb. This expression, come up with. Come up I can't with. come up with any better idea. What's so, the mean, come up with? Uh-huh, yes. Uh, come up with is basically think of. Think of. So it's like when you um, have new ideas. It's usually related to that. Like, um, For example, if somebody tells you, Hey, uh, Roberto, can you come up with uh, a new strategy for selling the product? Okay, so it's, can you think of a, another strategy for selling the product? Or when we say, uh, can you come up with a, a creative a idea for promoting our... I don't know, our flowers. Okay, so yes, it's a synonym of think of. Think okay. of. Think, think of. of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, well, so this is a conversation where we are talking about brands, of course, right? Um, and now, based on the conversation, we're going to answer these questions. First of all, what product is Josue selling? Mr. Gilberto, what's your answer? What product is Jose, Josue selling? What is the product? Pizza. Uh-huh. Diapers eco-friendly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's say and yeah, eco-friendly, eco-friendly diapers. Very good. Thank you, lady. Aha. Now let's see. Number two. What is an appealing characteristic of this product? Let's remember the the meaning of appealing. Appealing is a synonym of good. 
Okay, good. It's acceptable, but there is a more specific adjective or more specific synonym. I remember you said that to get the interest of an of um of your client, you said I remember that the the example you did when you talked about the BlackBerry and those cell phones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I remember the example. Um, what is the word? Oh, we don't remember the exact word. Well, actually it's attractive. Is attractive. So in this case, when, when the question says, what is an appealing characteristic of this product? In other words, we are saying, what is an attractive characteristic for this product, right? So uh, let's see, what is the attractive characteristic for the, the diapers? Mm -hmm. What is the attractive characteristic or the appealing characteristic? Environment friendly. Uh-huh. That is what makes them, let's say, special, right? They are, well, I don't know if you are familiar with diapers. <laughs> if you have kids, probably you have bought many diapers at the supermarket, right? Um, and the ones they sell at the supermarket are not eco-friendly, right? They are actually uh, polluting. They are made of polluting materials. They are environment friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are environment friendly. That's the appealing characteristic, okay? Sure. Or the attractive characteristic, yes? How do you say reciclable or biodegradable? Well, actually, uh, they are, well, recyclable, recyclable is a, well, let me, let me type it somewhere here. We say, Recyclable. Okay. Recyclable. And, recyclable. Yes. Wait, wait a second. I'm, it's, I'm probably, it's probably the diaper, the Joshua diaper is, is recyclable. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Because they are eco friendly, right? That means that they are not going to use them one time and go to the, to the landfill. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, yeah. yeah. Okay, and the the other word was actually the it is spelling it is spelled the same as in Spanish, like this. Biodegradable. Biodegradable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Biodegradable. Degradable. Mm -hmm. Only the, the pronunciation changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. The question number three is is the target link is the target audience interested in buying the product Josue sells? What do you think? Is it is are they interested in buying the product? According to our our uh, conversation here, yes, they are interested in the product of Joshua. Uh huh. Exactly, they are interested, right? Because here Amy says, "I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones at the supermarket." So. Yes, that is um that is the 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 information, right? 
permítame que se me perdió aquí. Vamos a subir, a subir. I'm sorry, I don't know why it, it went so far. Let's see here, 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 here. Ya estamos. Okay, so the answer here is yes, right? Yes, they are interested. Yes, they are. Okay, and then the next question is, what does Amy suggest? What does Amy suggest? He suggests mm -hmm. sell with no brand. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, sell them with no brand. Uh-huh. Have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? No, I haven't. Okay. No? Roberto, no. What about the rest? Gilberto, Lady, Israel, Mauricio? The question is, have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? No, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, what does mean no brand? Uh, I'm thinking about, well, I, I have heard that there are these, you know, this. That's why they mentioned Korea and Japan, and I will say China too. Well, they they uh, sell products with no brand because they, let's say, they are providers for companies. Like, for example, I don't know if you have seen this TikTok, TikTok, uh, TikTokers, <laughs> famous TikTokers that say, hey, I have my I have my new, for example, with women, it's very common that they say they create eyeshadow palettes, for example, makeup, um, or, or or lipsticks, or even perfumes. You know, they say this is my new product my perfume or my lipstick or my eyeshadow palette. Uh, so what many of them do is that they buy these no brand products and they basically paste them, let's say their own logo, right? So in the end, the products are not theirs, right? The, in reality, the products are not theirs Originally, they are from these companies that are selling them as no brand. So anybody can put their own brand on this product. I don't know if, if my explanation was clear. Yeah, teacher, thank you. Ah, okay, okay. Have you seen these TikTokers who, who promote their products like that? Yes, Leanna Deep, uh, Adriana Hasbun. Ah, um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, I haven't heard from Adriana like her own product. I know she promotes other brands. Like, for example, I know for she works with Forever 21. For, uh -huh. Yes. She works with Coca-Cola. She works with um, some boutiques. Tara. Or... Tara. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
exactly. But those are, a, let's say, established brands already. Uh, in this case, in this example of no brand, it's like she's, imagine, for example, next year she says, uh, hey, everybody, I want to present to you my own brand of lipstick because she loves makeup, right? She's all about makeup um, and fashion. So she says, hey, I have my own brand of lipstick or my own lipstick brand. And so her brand is going to be like Adriana's lipstick, for example, something like that, right? They usually put their name on it. So, um, but then she probably has bought these no brand lipsticks, right? And she pastes her own name to the lipstick and that's it. So it's not like, they create the product from, from zero, from scratch. They buy it and they put their brand, their name, their logo, like that. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a, an, another way to, in this case, to, to promote or another way to, to do branding, okay? How about the guys? Was it clear to you? Mr. Gilberto, Israel. Yes, it's clear. It's clear. Excellent, thank you. You can see many no brands products in Despensa Familiar. Ah, really? Yeah, okay. for example, you can find um, from the brand Kellogg's, but you can mm -hmm. find uh, another brand, well, just a bag with cornflakes inside with no brands and it's cheaper. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Well, I don't, I don't go to, <laughs> I don't go to the specific, you know, but okay. That's a good example. Thank you. Um, okay. My, my connection is giving me trouble. I don't know if you can hear me. Hello, please confirm if you hear me. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. I don't know why I'm getting this message then. Okay, well, so we already talked about the no brand strategy, but I think, well, actually we had a, a, an example here. Well, some, 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 I'm sorry, some extra material, but I don't, I don't see it. Let me, okay, I'm going to delete the, the answers here just so we can move on, move on. Okay, here. Um, okay, we're going to go over this. There is some information about here, about this here, but the link is not working. I don't know why, but we're going to uh, dedicate some time to um, this other resource that we have here. You can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well, this is also in relation to branding, but in this case, self-promotion. And it is related in this case also to no branding, okay, because uh, with the examples I was giving you, uh, these people who buy no brand products and they are putting their own name into these products, they are doing self-promotion, right? Um, so we're going to uh, go over the, the article, but let me see how we're going to get organized. Okay, there are several subtopics, but I think it's kind of long. Let me see. Well, not that long. Okay, this is an article by a woman who basically is talking about 
uh, how women can, let's say, self-promote themselves, okay? Um, so, well, the title is Stand Out for Success. I don't know if everybody is familiar with the word stand out. Oh, the phrase, not the word. The phrase stand out. When you stand out, what happens? Mm -hmm. Someone who can help me with the definition of stand out. Let's start there because that is important for um, the rest of the article. I think the meaning is to jump in or start with a new project or something. Mm, kind of, <laughs> but not exactly. Thank you, Israel. Okay, well, let's see. Stand out is actually to, let's say, to, how can we call it? Like, to be noticed, okay? To be visible for others, okay? Uh, for example, if you work in your company with a team and within your team, uh, of course, there is always a, a, a coordinator, a um, manager, right, for the team. But within the team members, there are people who stand out, meaning that there are people who are ahead or who take initiative, they are, let's say, natural leaders, right? So that is to stand out when you are noticed um, because of your attitude, because of your values, because of your um, behavior in general, or your uh, results, your the way you do your job, etc. okay? So it's to be noticed or to be visible, okay? That is to stand out. Okay, so that's the title of the article, Stand Out for Success, The Secrets of Self-Promotion. Okay, so let's check what those secrets are. Um, okay, I'm going to go over the, the introduction. There is a little introduction here. Uh, so it says, once upon a time, this is like a, a fairy tale. <laughs> we start fairy tales like this. Once upon a time, you got almost everything you wanted with hard work and determination. You studied hard, kept your head down, and did a good job. And you were rewarded with good grades, strong test scores, and admission to the right schools. This, this article is related I will say to the, the American uh, culture, right? The American job and uh, academic culture, but some things may apply to our reality as well. Okay, now uh, there is also, well, all this part is like the intro, but I'm not gonna read it all. My purpose is that you read it, <laughs> okay? So, um, because the author is a woman, that's why she says, yes, we women are great at working hard, keeping our heads down and doing a good job. We've earned more college degrees than men since the mid nineties. Interesting. Today, nearly 40% of MBA students, I don't know if, if you are familiar with this term, MBA, Are we familiar with MBA? What's MBA? Well, this is a, a, an acronym that stands for Manager in Business Administration. 
Okay. That is the meaning of MBA. So there are many MBA students who are women and we're close to 50% of the paid workforce. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to let someone else continue. Just finish with this part. So we're being rewarded for those efforts, right? She says. Okay, so let's just, let's continue with um okay, I want to start from the bottom. Let me see. Roberto, Roberto, let's start with you. Okay, let's read these two paragraphs, Roberto. Please. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, okay, I start. Mm -hmm. You say you, you read the stat in Fortune 500 firm, 50% of senior leader in, in 3% of CEO are women, only about 10% of women on firms receive a quite capital in our select, selected official are over, over my mail. It's time to realize that our career operate under very different rules. And Sylvia's only research on women in careers show the men of core women hands down in understanding some critical realities about career advancement. Women the study found are likely to feel that hard work alone is the key to to the top and that means we often un, un, underestimate the the value of being visible and, and well connected in an organization okay thank you roberto okay so i'm just going to um ask you to practice a few words from there because okay. we are like practicing pronunciation and then we're going to uh, discuss some of the ideas in the article. Okay, so the first word is uh, women. Women. Mm -hmm. Wom we have in in this, with this word, there is a plural, there is a singular. When we talk about one, it's woman. Woman, woman. right? With A. Mm -hmm. And okay. with, in plural, is with E, and we pronounce it women. Women, okay, uh -huh. I get it. Okay, and then we have this other word, equity. 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 Mm -hmm. Equity, okay. And this one, which is a little bit complicated. <laughs> yeah. Overwhelmingly. 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 Over Gwen Minley. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Another one here will be. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. This one, likelier. Like, like, likelier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good sure. uh, the, the next is underestimate. 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 Okay, very good. Well, um, now I'm, I'm going to uh, ask you to look up some of these words later on uh, when we finish reading the article, okay? But right now, let's continue practicing the read aloud uh, strategy to promote, in this case, pronunciation and fluency, okay? So I'm going to finish up this part with um, Mauricio. Well, I don't know. No, Mauricio started, right? Or you started, Roberto? Yes, you started, right? So Mauricio, continue, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, true. 
Yes. Is true most is. company. Okay. True is true is in in most companies you are probably not going to get ahead just by doing a good job to get promoted. You feel help to promote yourself. You have to talk about your accomplishment, get out there within your organization and industry mm -hmm. and build a mm -hmm. supportive network around you. So try this for self-promotion techniques to make sure your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. ¿Me puedo dar una dulce en el té o tío? Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Mauricio, we have just one word here that we can practice. Techniques. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Techniques. Okay. Great. Okay, okay. so uh, in this uh, paragraph that Mauricio just read, in the last sentence, we we here we're talking about self-promotion and how it is important. Remember, the article is addressed to women, right? However, I think uh, these strategies can be applied also for men, right? Especially if you are working at a place where you don't see any um, opportunities for promotion, right? Um, so let's see. The, Try these four, there are four self-promotion techniques to make sure your hard work doesn't go unnoticed, okay? So in this case, we're going to start with the first technique, which is talk about your results. And in this case, we're going to, we're going to ask our only lady today <laughs> participating, who is lady? Lady. Hello. Talk <laughs> about your results. Mm -hmm. Maybe you led a team that competed a big project on time and 10% on their budget. Mm -hmm. Or you rated life into a failing client relationship and made a sale. Mm -hmm. When you complete a project so fully, don't wait for that annual performance review to be recogni recognized for it. Instead, send your manager a brief email outlining the result as soon as it happens. Notice the doesn't come easily to everyone. Many women fear that, that they are seen like they are praying or self serving serving. But keep in mind that self promotion isn't actually about you. It's about the impact of your work. And that's that is not something you want to hide. You can also think about in this way. When you suck it, so does your manager, and so does the company. Sharing your results when you make you look good, it will make your boss happy too. Excellent, thank you, lady. Okay, here I'm going to highlight some words that we're going to practice with lady, and let's just start with this one, breath, breath. Breath. Mm -hmm. Breath. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one. Successfully. Successfully. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's see another one. Uh, okay, this is bragging. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, this one succeed. Oops, succeed, succeed, yes, succeed. 
Succeed is the uh, uh, succeed is the verb, okay? And is the definition is to be successful, okay? So uh, succeed is the verb, successful is the adjective, and here in this paragraph we have successfully, which means uh, is the adverb, okay? So when you complete a project successfully. This word successfully is the adverb because it is modifying the, the, the verb. How do you complete the project? Successfully, right? Uh, what do you do when you succeed or what can you be described as when you succeed? You are successful, okay? So this is a family of words <laughs> for success. Okay, uh, what else? Let me see. I think that's it in terms of pronunciation. Okay, now we're going to have the other strategy. Get noticed in your company. The first one, remember, is about, talk about your results, okay? The next one is get noticed in your company. Let's listen. In this case, we're going to have Mr. Israel, can you please read this part? Which one? This one that we have here. Get noticed ah. in your company. Mm -hmm. Get noticed in your company. Mm -hmm. Does your company have an internal newsletter, a town hall meeting, or an annual report that reports employees' news and successes? Mm -hmm. Learn how results are made public in your firm and how accomplishment, accomplishment land on the agenda. Maybe you just need to speak up and share your latest project at a meeting or submit an article to the newsletter editor. Mm -hmm. Of course, use your judgment. Not every achievement wins or deserves airtime. And when in doubt, seek guidance from your boss, a mentor, or peers with more of tenor, tenor first. Try asking. I think the web redesign we are working on will be a great addition to the CEO's internal email. Do you think that they will be appropriate? The point is, you don't have to sit and wait for someone else to publicize your accomplishment for you. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Well, I think in your case, mister, we don't have any word to check for pronunciation. I have a I have a question, teacher, in the second paragraph said our our peers with more tenor tenor. Uh-huh. Um, the meaning of tenor is my first time. You hear this word, okay? Yep. Um, well, we're going to check vocabulary later, but I can help you with this one specifically. Um, in this case, it it's we could say that it's a synonym of experience. Mm -hmm. But tenure, mm -hmm. yes, tenure is usually uh, used in the context of a higher education, for example. A, and we we use it a lot to refer to, you know, for example, a professors who have more time working at the university. So it's, it's specific to higher education, but I see that they are using it here as a synonym of experience, mm -hmm. like work experience or experience in the field, right? Is it clear, mister? Yes, it is, teacher. Excellent. Okay, very good. We have another strategy. Remember, there are four in this article. So for this strategy, I would like Mr. Gilberto to help me read, please. Okay, teacher. Be an industry. Experts, you should also seek to be visible outside and your friend. For starters, be acquired of, of how you 
your, let's say, via your social media presence, via strategy in LinkedIn, Twitter, even Facebook, anywhere you're connected with professional contacts and use those platforms to communicate about what you want to be now for A, E. This means example. I, 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 E, your strategy. Mercury, ideal, no your Friday night activities. Beyond the virtual world, you can promote yourself as an expert by reading and speaking about your areas of expertise, industry, publication, and website. Obtain new contributor. Check out the guideline for the one in your field and propose topic or summit and article. Mm -hmm. Or consider giving presentation in the industry conference and don't want to be invited. Contact the organizer and propose topic and ask about a panel you like to sit down. Okay, excellent. Okay, now let's focus on pronunciation. Some of these words. Let's just start with this one. Visible. Visible. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see this one. Strategic. Strategic. In this case, it comes from strategy, right? Strategy. Strategy. Is strategy. And in this case, we are using the adjective. Be strategic. So, when you are strategic, strategic. you are using strategies, right? So, strategic. Okay, right. let's look for another one. Let's see. Um, okay, expertise. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, this one, field. 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 Mm -hmm. Field. Field. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, let's now check. Are, am I missing someone who hasn't participated reading? Let me check. Gilberto, Israel, Lady, Mauricio, Roberto. I think that's it, right? Okay, I'm going to, uh, or I don't know if someone, okay, this is a little bit longer. If someone wants to read this one or I can read it. Okay, I'm going to read it. Um, and then we're going to talk about vocabulary. Lady, go ahead. Will a custom network. Mm -hmm. Vice club networks are time tested platforms for men to help each other advance their careers. So where are the girls clubs? Mm -hmm. They are out there. But the real action goes beyond industry and alumni groups. For women, it's often not about finding an all. all. Established club you can you can join. Instead, you might have to create your own network, your own web of relationships with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. Whether it's five people or 50, consider how you can create it or foster a group that's dedicated to sharing resources and helping each other so, so, okay. um, consider a no famous group of female healthcare executives who came together in the 
1917 mm -hmm. to regularly share information about their industry. Mm -hmm. Their goal was to help each other become visible yes. leaders in their organizations and fields. And they meet at and shared ways to promote themselves as well as to promote one another. Okay. And, it, and it worked several of these women, Sandra Fenwick, Judith Corland, Linda Shiavitz, and Elaine Williams mm -hmm. are still in CEO roles today developing a network of relationships now will bring you great long-term career value both for you and your fellow participant. Okay, great. Thank you, lady. And this is the conclusion. Hard work is the foundation of success, but it's not enough. If you're going to get the opportunities you want, you need to make those stellar results visible to others. So don't just keep your head down, get it out there where others can see it. Remember, these are the new rules. Okay, and now I'm just gonna help a lady practice some of these words a little bit more with pronunciation. So let me check here. Um, <clears throat> ah, this one. Like-minded. 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 Minded. 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 Like-minded. Mm -hmm. like and this one is also another one we still need to practice. Succeed. Succeed. Mm -hmm. Succeed. And, yes. And also... Famous, famous, famous. famous. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, I think so far that's it. Okay, now everybody, it's time to check vocabulary. Um, well, the article as I mentioned at the beginning, is related to strategies to help women stand out for success, right? Stand out for success. And I am picturing or I am uh, imagining that this is necessary, especially in those companies where uh, many of the, well, in so as you know, in some companies, for example, engineering companies or companies that are related to science in general, um, there are many leaders who are men, right? So in this case, the article is um, providing women some strategies in order to stand out for success, meaning that they can also, if they want to, right? they can also access those leadership positions or those managerial positions, right? So that's the main idea. Now, uh, I would like you to uh, check some vocabulary from this, um, from this article. And this time, I'm not gonna tell you which words to look for. I would like you to choose at least three of these words that are not familiar to you, okay? But give me one second here. I'm going to um, do this. Okay, I'm going to share the link in the, in the WhatsApp group. And uh, I need you to take some time to choose three, only three, okay? Three uh, phrases or... Um, words that are not familiar to you and that are important for the article, okay? Okay, there we go. 
it's in the WhatsApp group. So please, please click on the on the, the article. Okay, let's click on the article. And where is it? Okay, give me one second here. Que se me fue por otro lado esto. Okay, here we are. Um, so, again, what's the task? Uh, I'm going to um, give you around, um, let's say, 10 minutes maximum to go over the article again and choose three, okay? So I'm going to write it on the chat so you can remember. Go over the article and choose three words or phrases that you don't know. Okay, look them up and be ready to share their meaning and a sample sentence. Okay, this is ideal. If you don't have the sample sentence, it's okay, but uh, at least the meaning, okay? So, go over the article and choose three words or phrases that you don't know. We're going to look them up and be ready to share their meaning in a sample sentence. Uh, since the topic, remember, is branding, okay, and this is this article is related to basically branding yourself, right? Uh, self promoting or promoting your uh, career as a professional um, or in whatever you do, then a uh, you can choose words that are related to that or just any word that you don't know, okay? Well, is there any question or are we clear on the task? Okay, we are clear, I guess. So go ahead, let's take around 10 minutes to do this, please. I'm going to put the timer and when the min when the time is over, I'm going to check how you're doing. If there is need for more time, it's okay, but 10 minutes to start. If you have any question, please let me know. I'm here to help you out.
Okay, let's see. We have a new um uh, we have the first uh, set of definitions from Lady and she has shared with us overwhelm overwhelmingly <laughs> even for me it's difficult to pronounce this word overwhelmingly right. Okay, um, lady, could you could you please present your? I mean, everybody can see them in the chat, right? But I would like you to please uh, present them to us. <laughs> the word is the first word is difficult for me. I know the pronunciation <laughs> overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly. Okay, almost there. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly. Okay, Yay. overwhelmingly. <laughs> Yay! Bravo! <laughs> you got it. Thank you. Overwhelmingly. The mm -hmm. price of the product are overwhelmingly high. Oops, sorry. That was our alarm. Okay. Yes. The okay. second word is wow. underestimated. The opponent's campaign was underestimated. And that made... Uh, that made those clients mm -hmm. okay the third word accomplishments the company never values the accomplishments of these employees that may lower the quality of customer service okay great let's give a clap to lady please everyone great Okay, now, um, how would you explain the word overwhelming, overwhelmingly? Like, what, what's a synonym for overwhelmingly? Frustrated. Frustrated. Mm. No. Yeah, I mean, when you feel overwhelmed, yes, it's, it's like you are frustrated. Mm-hmm. But in this case, we are using it as a not as an as an adverb, so it's like too much, okay, too too high, mm -hmm. because we are using it as an adverb. So the prices of that product are overwhelmingly high. Would be they are exaggeratedly, let's say, exaggerated Ooh. high. Mm -hmm. Like we can say another example for here in El Salvador could be prices, house prices are overwhelmingly high in El Salvador. I don't know if you have noticed that, but in in our country, houses and uh, apartments and land in general is really expensive, right? So yes, overwhelmingly high. 
Okay, and the other one is underestimate. Can you practice this word, please, lady? Underestimate. Underestimate. Mm -hmm. What's a synonym of underestimate? Mm. 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 Minim minimize. Okay. Mm -hmm. Minimize. Very good. That's a good synonym. Or in other words, not value, right? Not value. Oh, uh -huh. and something. Mm -hmm. In this case, the example you have is the opponent's campaign was underestimated and that made him lose clients. So it means the, the opponent's campaign was not valued enough, right? They are not... They didn't value it, so. Okay, what about accomplishments? What's a synonym for accomplishments? Achievements, achievements. Exactly, achievements, okay? What you, when you succeed at something, you accomplish. So it's a synonym also of succeed. Succeed, achieve, and accomplish. They are synonyms. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great, lady. Now let's see if your classmates have a, their their three words. Um. Let me see. Okay. Um. Gilberto. Roberto. Mauricio, Israel. Does I anybody? Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, okay let me give me a moment. I, I want to share the... The screen? The screen. No, the words in the chat. Ah, okay, okay. Can you see that? Ah, uh, yes, I just saw it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, for me, the fear words um, new for me is realities. Okay. Reality. And the meaning is um, realidades. For mm -hmm. example, the world or the state of things as they actually exist, as opposed to an idealistic or national idea of them. For mm -hmm. example, example, he refused to face reality. Uh -huh. the other synonyms, the real world, real life, actually true physical existence. Okay. And the second word is likelier, likelier. Mm -hmm. And the mean is most probable mm -hmm. as such as well might happen or be true probable. Mm -hmm. And the example is what it, it was likely that he would right. make a, a televised statement. And okay. this synonymous is um, probably distinctly possible to be expected or on, on possible credible. Okay. And the third word is underestimate, like like Joanna, Lady Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> I see you you okay. coincided on this one. Yes. Uh, underestimate is the meaning subestimar. Estimate mm -hmm. something to be a smaller or less important that it actually is. Uh -huh. Example, they have grossly underest underestimate the extent of the of the problem and the synonym okay. set to low underest um use miscalculate mm -hmm. misuse and 
Joyce incorrectly. Oh, got incorrectamente. Okay, excellent. This, this is my 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 three word new for me. It's very okay. difficult. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I just wanted to to mention in the case of likelier that it's the uh, comparative, right? The, comparative. Uh, the, the way the way it is in the article, like likelier, is the comparative. So that's why in the translation you you see más probable, right? Mas so probable. It, yes. it comes from a, a, here you have the example. It was likely that he would make a televised statement. So the original adjective, let's say, is likely. But if you want to compare okay. it, use it in comparative form, is likelier. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I get it. They, they change the change the, the uh -huh. last one. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay, right. I get it. Thanks, the change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, clap for Mr. Roberto. Great job, mister. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, okay, let me ask Gilberto, Israel, or Mauricio. Are you ready, gentlemen? No, teacher, not yet. Not yet, teacher. Okay. Mauricio, how about you? No, teacher, no, not yet. I need a, a, a few minutes. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to check attendance just to give you some okay. time. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, Danny Anthony, si buenas aventura. Let me see. Okay, I see he's here, but with no sound, so he's not listening. Okay, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. I think he's a listener. Yes. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Not present today. Um, Lady Joanna Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Listener. Y María Leticia Realejeño González, listener. Mauricio Buruca. Person. Person. Ok, Mauricio de Jesús. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona. Let me check if Rebeca is here. Mm, no. Not, oh, yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> I hadn't seen you. Ok, eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Ok, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Ok, listener. And uh, Sofía Karina Crespo, listener. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadino. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok, well. Um, please let me know when you are ready, guys. And well, also in the meantime, I wanted to point out some other words that I don't know if you will talk about, but at least Lady and uh, Roberto have been shared. Um, okay, give me one second, I'm going to share the screen. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay, um, well, I gave you this one, right? MBA. Uh, let me see. Okay, what about CEO? Do we know the meaning of CEO? 
is like a president of the company. Exactly. Uh -huh. It they were the letters stand for chief. C is for chief. Let me write it here. Sorry. C stands for chief. E stands for executive. And O stands for officer. But yes, in other words, it's the president of the company, right? Chief executive officer. Okay. Mm, let's see now. What about this? This is a, a, a very mm, technical phrase in economy. Fortune 500 firm. Do you know what is a Fortune 500 firm? Fortune 500 firm. No, no one. Well, as I said, this is something, this is a term that is used in the finance world or the economy world. And it has to do with an annual list uh, that is compiled and published by the Fortune magazine. Okay. I don't know if you have heard of this, this magazine, Fortune. Fortune magazine. This magazine ranks 500 of the largest United States corporations by total revenue for their respective fiscal years. Um, so basically it's like the, the companies that are uh, the richest, right? From the United States, of course. So it's an annual list. By this year, by this time, I'm, I'm not sure if earlier in the year, but I think by the end of the year, uh, we can see the companies that are in that list of the 500 largest U.S. companies ranked by total revenues for the respective fiscal year. So that's a 500 firm. For example, Facebook, Google, um, well, actually, Today is not Facebook, it's Meta, Meta, right? Because it includes Instagram, Facebook, um, what else? WhatsApp. Uh, so that those are examples of Fortune 500 firms. Mm, another one I think is Apple. Um, what else? Mm -mm -mm. I don't remember any other, but yeah, those are examples. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Okay, I'm checking. Okay, this one, for example, bragging. I don't know if someone is going to talk about it, but I okay. think it's... Many women fear that they'll seem like they are bragging or self-serving. So what's bragging? When you brag, is basically when you are talking about you, all your achievements, right? Like you want to seem superior to others by talking about your achievements. Um, of course, it depends on the 
the way you do it, right? Uh, the way you express uh, whatever you're saying is important. So yes, you can talk about your achievements, but in a way that it doesn't sound like you're bragging, right? Because bragging is seen as something not negative. I'm sorry, something negative. is seen as something that it shouldn't be, okay? So when you brag is when you talk about your achievements in a way that is not, a, I would say, positive or is not um, nice for the other people to hear, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, when we say not every achievement wins or deserves air time, this phrase air time means uh, the time we we um we have or the time we invest in publicizing that achievement right that is air time oh i see gilberto has shared his okay so we're going to finish up with gilberto's examples Okay, um, Gilberto, can you can you please present your your examples? Uh, yes, teacher. So, we're being renowned for those efforts. In mm -hmm. the company, we're re reward for good product and service. Mm -hmm. And the other question, product management. We think solid. Product management, quick anticipate for two months. Two months. Mm -hmm. uh, question three: Reside equity equity capital. Uh, the company is reside capital social sociedad anónima. <laughs> no sé cómo. Ah, okay, okay. Anonymous society. Anonymous. Anonymous society. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I see you have shared uh, the examples. I mean, the phrase in in an example, right? Okay. Well, uh, renowned. So we're being renowned for those efforts, or rewarded, rewarded. I think. Um. Okay, I'm going to check this more carefully, Gilberto, and I'm going to give you feedback on the same. Uh, I'm going to reply to your message with the with some feedback, okay? Um, but okay. later on, because uh, it's time to go now. So thank you, Lady Roberto and Gilberto for sharing. The rest of you, if you haven't finished or if you already finished and you want to share it, you can share it and we can check it tomorrow at the beginning of the class, okay? Okay. So, well, this is it for today, everybody. Thank you. Thank and you. Good night. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care.